Hello again, fellow Beachbum traders. Thank you for joining us for our video on how to make money trading in December, where we will share with you why generally and historically December is one of the best months to trade stocks, how the stock market seasonals improve in December, why investors are often bullish in December, and the best time to buy stocks in December, and again, how to make money trading in December. So let's get started. Seasonality So, in terms of seasonality, the end of December has shown to be a good time to buy small caps or value stocks, to be poised for the rise early in the next month. There's another advantage, many investors start to sell stocks en masse at year's end, especially those that have declined in value, to claim capital losses on their tax returns. So again, the last trading days of the year can offer some bargains, even if historically, a sell-off comes in December, and with it a potential drop in investment value for new investors, which is a factor to remember after a potentially big January effect. What is the December effect? The December effect is the tendency of stock prices to move upward during the last month of the year. Historical statistics indicate December is the strongest month of the year for stock prices. The December effect is the tendency of stocks to perform better in December than in any other month of the year. This may be because of increased sales and earnings due to the Christmas season, or because of expectations for new products at the start of the next year. In any case, December has usually, historically, been the best month for stock performance. It is also noteworthy that, in general, fewer bankruptcies are filed in December. Stock market seasonals improve in December The stock market has nearly made it through the most dangerous seasonal time of the year and is approaching December, which has a positive seasonal profile. Since 1950, the S&P 500 dollar SPX SPY index has shown an average monthly gain of plus 1.55% in December, making it the third best month of the year behind November plus 1.69% and April plus 1.68%. January also tends to be a positive seasonal month, with an average monthly gain since 1950 of plus 1.07%. The stock market obviously remains in a bear market, which means there continues to be downward pressure on stocks in general. The S&P 500 is currently down minus 19.1% on a year-to-date basis. However, favorable seasonals could at least cushion any new downside blows. The S&P 500 index made it through the summer and autumn falling by more than minus 10% in a single month, although September was close at minus 9.34%. The S&P then recovered by plus 7.99% in October and is up plus 1.93% so far in November. This past September lived up to its negative seasonals with its minus 9.34% monthly decline, making it the worst month so far in 2022. Since 1950, the S&P 500 index in September has shown an average decline of minus 0.54%, making it the worst month of the year and the only month with an average monthly decline. While the average monthly change in stock prices is important for considering seasonals, it is also important to note the months of the year when unusually large moves tend to happen. The most volatile time of the year tends to be from August through November. From 1950 through 2021, there were nine times when the S&P 500 showed a monthly decline of more than minus 10%. Six of those nine plunges, i.e., 67%, occurred during the dangerous period of August through November. The worst months, with two plunges of more than minus 10%, were September, in 1974 and 2002, and October, in 1987 and 2008. The two other bad months during that time frame, with one plunge of more than minus 10%, were in August, 1998, and November, 1973. Looking at the plus side, there have been 13 times since 1950 when the S&P 500 index has shown a monthly gain of more than plus 10%. Eight of those 13 monthly gains, i.e., 62%, have occurred during the volatile period of August through November. There have been three gains of more than plus 10% in October, 1974, 1982, 2011, and November, 1962, 1980, 2020, and two gains of more than plus 10% in August, 1982, 1984. The other good month for big gains is January, with three gains of more than 10%, 1975, 1976, 1987. 
Over the near term, investors will be hoping for some support from December's positive seasonals. However, stock market volatility could remain high due to uncertainty about the Fed's rate hike regime, the possibility of a recession in 2023, and the possibility of more crypto fallout. Why investors are often bullish in December whatever the reason, one consequence is that a bear market is unlikely to begin in the last few weeks of the year chalk it up to the holiday spirit. In December, both professional stock market timers and individual investors are more bullish than in any other month. This means a bear market is less likely to begin during the last few weeks of the year than at other times. But don't expect a big market surge, either. The bullishness in December is more nuanced than the exuberance sometimes seen the rest of the year, which means investors probably won't go on a buying spree. This December confidence has been showing up for a long time. Consider a survey that has been conducted weekly by the American Association of Individual Investors of its members. In December's of the past 20 years, 43.9% have reported themselves to be bullish, higher than any other month. The other 11 months average is 38.0%. Investment advisors are also in high spirits at this time of year. One piece of evidence is the average recommended equity exposure level among a group of nearly 100 stock market timers, a statistic that is updated daily by my investment performance auditing firm, Hulbert Ratings. Over the past 20 years, this average in December was 45.8%, the highest of any month. December's average is more than 10 percentage points higher than the 34.2% average for the other 11 months. For data before 2000, we can turn to Investors Intelligence, a market research firm, which has weekly survey data for investment advisors dating back to 1963. Again, the data reveal advisors were more bullish in December, on average, than for any other month. No credit to Santa so what's behind all that December bullishness? You might think it's a reflection of a common belief that the stock market rises in December, a phenomenon that is sometimes referred to as the Santa Claus rally. But that seems doubtful. For one thing, the conventional wisdom isn't true, the stock market historically hasn't been an above-average performer until the last few days of December and into January. In addition, the consistent pattern in all other months is for bullishness to rise only after the market has been strong. Just the reverse of that pattern happens in December. Investors and market timers typically become more bullish in early and mid-December, before the market rise late in the month. Holiday spirit? Stock market timers average monthly recommended equity exposure level since 2000 asterisk still, while there is no consensus about what causes the bullishness, the holiday season does appear to play a role. That suggestion emerges from research conducted by two finance professors, Ben Jacobson of the Tias Business School at the University of Tilburg in the Netherlands and Cherry Yi Zhang of the Nottingham University Business School in Ningbo, China. When studying 300 years of monthly patterns in the stock market, the professors found that when Christmas became a public holiday in the mid-19th century, the stock market began performing better than before in January. December, in contrast, which previously had been an above-average performer, subsequently performed no better than average. They speculated that Christmas may have begun to affect investors' moods, such as by encouraging a time of reflection. Buying on discount this suggests that the bullishness that regularly appears in December is different than what may appear at other times of the year. It isn't a bullishness that responds to market strength by jumping on the bullish bandwagon, but instead a less reactive optimism. One possible consequence may be that investors and market timers in December will be less likely to dump their stock holdings when the market is weak. Support for this interpretation comes from the relative infrequency of bear markets that begin in December. The last one that did so, in the calendar of bull and bear markets maintained by Ned Davis Research, was in 1968. The stock market's rally on December 2 may be evidence of this holiday spirit. Before that rally, major market averages, such as the Dow Jones Industrial Average, had fallen as much as 7% below the all-time highs they set recently, and the Russell 2000 Index, a small-cap and mid-cap stock benchmark, had fallen 13% below its recent high. But on the second trading day of December the stock market staged one of its biggest rallies in months, with the Dow tacking on 618 points and the Russell 2000 gaining 2.7%. Best time to buy stocks in December stocks tend to flourish, especially toward the end of the month. December is known to be a bullish month for stocks. 
The table below comparing monthly returns of the S&P 500 index since 1950 confirms this, with the last month of the year showing both the highest average return and percent positive. Another interesting stat for December is that since 1929, as far back as we have data on the index, it has never ranked as the worst month of the year. Unless the index loses more than 6.94%, the loss in October, then the streak will continue in 2018. Below, I break down the month further showing the typical path of the S&P 500 in December, which highlights the huge difference in returns when you compare the first and second half of the month. Also, I look at how stocks respond in December when the index limps into the month, as is happening now. The S&P's typical path in December The chart below shows the typical path of the S&P 500 in the month of December. The month usually ends up fine, but it looks a bit like a roller coaster to get there. Over the past 25 years, the index tends to get off to a hot start, averaging a gain of more than 0.75% within the first week. When you get to the midpoint of the month, however, the index has given back the gains and averages a negative return. From there, though, it's steadily higher into the end of the year. Looking at the longer-term data since 1950, the first half of the month has a similar path, but the high and low aren't as extreme. The second half of the month is just as steady. Here are the numbers for the first and second half of the month. The first half has barely broke even on average, more recent data shows it has been negative, as you see above, with 57% of the returns positive. Almost all of December gains have occurred in the second half of the month. From December 15th through December 31st, the S&P 500 has averaged a 1.51% gain, with 79% of the returns positive. Is December a bounce back month? The table below shows what has happened in December based on how the first two months of the fourth quarter have performed. December seems to act as kind of a mean reversion month. When the first two months of the quarter have been up big, more than 5%, December has averaged a return of about a half of a percent. When the first two months of the quarter have been up just moderately, December has gained an average of 1.96%. This year, the S&P 500 is down over 8% since September. This is a good sign for December. When the fourth quarter has been negative heading into December, the S&P 500 averages a gain of 2.61%, with almost 90% of the returns positive, so hopefully this particular trend continues. Stop leaving money on the table with the same old broken options trading approach. There is no option strategy that more perfectly capitalizes during earnings season better than this simple call and put buying strategy. Perfect for aggressive traders looking to recover their suffering portfolios so far in 2022. With the simplest possible option strategy, Schaefer's team with 100 plus years of options trading excellence, target 200% gains on every single trade. So many trades are being beaten down by the market, but don't be one of them. Thank you again for joining us for our How to Make Money Trading in December video. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Please let us know what you think of this video and the strategies on how to make money trading in December. Hopefully we shared with you why December is historically and generally one of the best months to trade stocks. You can see why the stock market seasonals improve in December why investors are often bullish in December, and hopefully you got some tips and some uh, trading ideas on the best time to buy stocks in December, and again, some strategies, trade ideas, and tips on how to make money trading in December. So again, let us know what you think of all, the, all of this. If you have any other ideas about how to make money trading in December, please let us know in the comments below, in our free Discord, in our Facebook group, and or via our social media. So we hope this all helps you succeed in your trading career. Good luck and have a great trading December. The content of this video was produced by Beach Bum Trading. We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at beachbumtrading.com, the bum without the you. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, Bum Without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. 
and we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. We also cordially want to invite you to our new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server where we can have discussions on all topics related to trading, success in trading, investing, etc. You can see uh, alerts when we make trades, changes to our watch list, etc. So again, please join us in the new Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server. You should be able to find a link in the description box below. You can also find a link in the social media category on our web page beachbumtrading.com without the bum without the u and also in the link section on the about page of our youtube channel etc so again we look forward to seeing you in the beach bum trading community discord server soon wave and say hello beach bum trading also now has a site on patreon if you are willing and able to help support our efforts to uh, produce all the content and help you achieve the financial freedom you want deserve to be able to leave, live the beach bum lifestyle or any other kind of lifestyle you would like and you're willing and able to help support our efforts in these regards so uh, we hope you'll choose to visit our patreon page uh, you can get access to our new uh, Beast Bump Trading Community Discord server, which is currently under construction, but you will get access to the Discord server by supporting us through Patreon. Again, this is all currently under construction, but you can see we just have the default uh, levels, membership levels, but again, each level allows support, uh, allows access to our Discord. Um, we're also posting our trade. Um, trade positions initially in our Discord, and again, we greatly appreciate uh, any support that you're willing and able to provide. So, thank you for your consideration. Another way that you can help support Beach Bum Trading and being able to produce frequent quality content for you for free on YouTube, etc., is in addition to subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading channel, hitting the like button on our videos and hitting the notify so you're alerted when we release further videos. You can also choose to support, show your support for Beach Bum Trading with a super thanks, which you can find below this video. If you hit the heart with the dollar sign, the super thanks, again, you can financially support Beach Bum Trading in whatever amount that you wish. And we greatly appreciate your support, and that will help us, again, be able to produce frequent quality content that we can provide for you and all your fellow Beach Bum traders around the world for free on YouTube. So, again, we greatly appreciate all of your support, and thank you very much. Thank you again for watching our video. We hope that you liked it. If so, please smash the like button, give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. Please share this video with your fellow traders and friends. And please give us your feedback and any recommendations for improvement in the comments section below. And let us know what else we can do to help you in your trading career. Thank you again, good luck, and have a great trading day. If you like this video, we hope you will choose to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box in the upper left hand corner. You can watch another video like this by clicking on the box in the lower right hand corner. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this that you can access via the box in the upper right hand corner. Our latest video is available in the box in the lower left hand corner. 
We hope you like this and have a great day.